One run has gotten past the line of scrimmage. One. They face a third and 24 here. Another draw again. No success. Third and four. Michigan has been the best in college football early in the year on third down. McSorley goes down. Down to the 25. Swing it out right side, and that was well defended. Tompkins had nowhere to go. Sorley's pass complete. Touch and more touches. He's their best player. He's their most talented player. But Sorley, pressure from Charlton, lobs it up, and Barkley couldn't catch it. Uh, and you talk about, you know, Penn State, where they are, Michigan, where they are, the recruiting, especially in New Jersey, where Penn State gets a lot of these players. As you see, Taco Charlton gets a sack. From Division Three school. Second and 13 after they pick up the flag. A Wimbo Wale trying to get back to the original line of scrimmage. Here's third and 10. Looking right and throwing right. And it is knocked away. But Wisconsin has shown they will take a shot. Try to loosen up this Michigan defense because that's not going to get it done. Three receivers on this third and 10. Holbrook under pressure is going to be dropped. Taken down, Taco Charlton was there. Don Brown said getting Taco Charlton back healthy last week changed his entire defense. He and Glasgow get to the quarterback. He's such a physical presence. Third and three. To throw. Holbrook hit as he released and can't connect. You start to wonder, Alex Hornibrook in the fourth quarter, are these hits going to start to take their toll? This time, Taco Charlton and Jabril Peppers. That hurts, folks. Three. Just get it away. Hornibrook under pressure. Can't get out of it. The reasons that you just stated. Justin Goodwin, the third down back is in. He's their best pass catcher. And down goes Laviano. Taco Charlton with the sack, and that's number 21 for Michigan, top five in the country. Very experienced guys as well. You know, there's a lot of seniors and 50-year seniors in that front seven, and the two deep in the front seven, as a matter of fact. Allen under pressure again and swung down. Taco Charlton gets there early in the half as he did in the first. Well, Taco Charlton is, is maybe chief among them. You know, he's a he's an edge bender. He comes off the edge. He he has a reputation of being a really good run anchor, and he's kind of coming into his own doing this, coming off the edge, dipping the shoulder and ripping through the quarterback. Vaughn will take the snap once more. Vaughn's gonna keep Taco Charlton there along with Ryan Glasgow to make the stop across the 45 yard. But you need to get some some pass completions. No yards passing in the first half. And on first down, Foster with the carry, and Kendrick Foster gets a couple to the... So now first down at the Michigan 37. Best starting field position of the day for Illinois, and the give is to Foster, and Foster takes it a couple to the 35. And... It'll be his game today. L.J. Scott. It'll be third down and eight. Allison? L.J. Scott again. Second and goal from just inside the five. So a free first down for Michigan State by penalty. And now they go back to the ground with Holmes. Taco Charlton, after a gain of a yard and a half, was there to make the stop back to Chris. But it's that initial push that's probably the biggest surprise in this first quarter. Another carry by Holmes. O'Connor will throw, and he's going to hoist one up, and it's going to be intercepted. Jordan Lewis picks it off. What are the percentages here for Michigan State, in spite of the fact that you're down 14? I mean, does this show a sense of desperation, just hoisting sure. one up? Sure. Well, and you also get blasted. Taco Charlton does a wonderful spin cycle move, the defensive end, and he puts his, his helmet right into the chest of O'Connor, forces that throw. In for Michigan. 
see how many they rush. I got five coming. And so does Hills. He'll take out three of them before he's dropped. Gideon leading the party. Beathard just barely got it off, but he will not get away. He's sacked by Taco Charlton, the defensive end, who's got five and a half now this season, fourth down. Yeah, and also Mike McCray actually is the first one to get to him. The second and ten handoff. Very little for Daniels. It'll be another one of those third and long. Yeah, Wadley, nowhere to go. Again, the play just blown up in the backfield. Does well to get a yard out of it. As you said, it, it, it's hard to convert on third down. It's hard to even move the ball at first and second down against this Michigan defense. Number one in scoring defense. Number one in total defense. Lego in trouble, and the pass over the head of the intended receiver, Divine Redding. As Michigan got pressure, Taco Charlton was five sacks on the year, was in the backfield. And But I think that they've done a really pretty good job. I think that uh, I think that you can look forward to them playing better as the season unfolds. Fourth down here, incomplete pass. As you look back, that forces so many negative plays and turnovers. Be smart with the lead. Redding again tackle behind the line of scrimmage taco Charlton senior from Ohio Lego just 7 of 12 passing for 90 yards they'll run it Redding and taco Charlton coming down the line makes the play Again the Wolverines control their own destiny to the Big Ten championship game Taco Charlton there defensively along with Wormley spinning down Brookens for no gain but not pinpoint accurate when it comes to throwing. No running room for Redding. He'll lose a couple on the play. Taco Charlton, Maurice Hurst, both in the backfield for Michigan. The ability to cover as a linebacker or safety has never been more important. Think Tyron Matthew. Plays in the box, nickel, but an impact player. That's exactly what Peppers is. Lego hammer to the backfield, and down he goes. Taco Charlton takes him down. There are a couple other Wolverines back there initially. Indiana will have to punt the ball. Great play defensively. Just bringing some pressure. That is what Michigan does defensively under their coordinator, Don Brown. A lot of pre snap movement to try to create the one on one matchup that they want. Samuel on the pop pass tries to get the corner, cuts it back. That was well defended, strung out. And Taco Charlton, the defensive end, messed it up. It'll be third and long. Yeah, his penetration comes right through here. But watch the flow and the speed of the Michigan defense. Watch how fast they get out there. So Charlton does a good job. But the rest of those white jerseys are out there also. Barry chased. Sack for a second time. Taco Charlton, the senior, came off the edge his seventh of the season. The center, Pat Elfline, has to work all the way out here to try to stop Charlton, who's one of the better pass rushers in the Big Ten. These guys are both from Pickerington, a, a suburb here in the Columbus area. That gives you an idea. Taco Charlton, 6'6", 275 pounds, and a big athlete. Didn't play man. And now Weber, who's had a tough go of it, the Guy out of Detroit comes in highly motivated. He hasn't been able to get free at all. Samuel to make a play. They knew about each other, didn't they? Oh, yeah. Barrett cannot escape. Pepper said, I knew all about the guy from Brooklyn, you know. Barrett looking for a first down throw. Pressured again and will be sacked one more time. Taco Charlton has had a ball game. And the Wolverine pass rush has been a major force. Isaiah Prince, the right tackle for Ohio State, has had a struggle all year in pass protection. We've called the Wisconsin game he struggled. The Penn State game he struggled. Today he has struggled against Taco Charlton. Play clock inside of six. Just get it off. Barrett takes off again will be stopped and now it's ohio state that looks a little confused after he's just joining us no jabril peppers for michigan here's the pressure francois didn't see it but he felt taco charlton and francois is down
But you see, here he comes right off the edge, unblocked. A pressure from Don Brown, whether it's Leonard or whether it's Dalvin Cook. DeAndre Francois expected him to be picked up, and he wasn't. That had to be a breakdown in protection, as you just alluded to, because he wasn't thinking anyone was coming. Charlton's had nine sacks in the last ten games. He's by far Michigan's best pass rusher, so it so sets up this big third and 17. Cook will get the ball on third and 17. Well, it won't be a loss, but it won't be nearly enough. Gain of three. And the future is very bright for Florida State. I'm not sure what to make of Michigan's future with everybody leaving. As well as a performance from DNCE. I need me some cake by the ocean. <laughs> you already had enough of Joe's. <laughs> Final play of the half. And it will end that way. Had a losing yardage play. Here's third and 12. Pressure right away. Francois had to get away, get it away. Taco Charlton was in his grill. Taco Charlton went right around Roderick Johnson. Here's the two of them. Both of them potential first round picks, and Taco just beats him off the football. If your hamstring's not uh, at least 85%, you just you just can't play. First down and 10 from deep in their own end. Taco Charlton leading the way for this game, but uh, it's been slick. And it's cool. Temperature's now in the mid-50s here in South Florida. On second down and 10, that's going to be a loss. Mike McRae and Taco Charlton come up on the stop.